Okay. So welcome all. Uh, welcome to the Financial Freedom. My name is Samir Bapat and today we are restarting after a long, long time. So how many of you have are, are joining first time? I can see a lot of people who have been joining the webinars very regularly. Uh, can I have, can you type yes or raise your hand uh, or unmute and say if you are, if you are joining for the first time in the webinar? Okay. 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 Great. <clears throat> so quite a few people joining for the first time. So welcome. Uh, okay. So great. Uh, great to see you all. Uh, great to see you uh, joining first time. Uh, just a brief introduction. I have been conducting a lot of webinars uh, on various topics. Uh, the agenda is to educate people uh, more and more educate so that they can take informed decisions. That is the objective. And uh, like I have uploaded the videos on YouTube, previous webinars. So I'll share the link as well uh, for those webinars. You can go and have a look at YouTube. Now, uh, coming to the agenda today. So we have typically stop. Where is it? Okay, so uh, typically we have three agendas today. First, like I mentioned in the <laughs> sorry, first agenda is uh, is the market going to crash? That is our first agenda. Someone might be thinking, yeah, it's not ja hai. why at all this fellow is thinking, talking about is the market going to crash? So uh, let me be one honest with you. That was to attract the attention of people. So in my all uh, analysis, the likelihood of it crashing is very low. But why did I mention that way? Uh, there is a reason for that. Second is, uh, what are the traps being laid? right now like we hear about the operators uh, operating and all uh, mostly i discount that there are operators at all who are manipulating but i will share a few thoughts uh, with you all uh, why i think right now we need to be very cautious when we are into stock market third is i am going to share with you uh, around uh, uh, roughly around 35 stocks which have gone up recently and we will analyze those uh, how to see uh, what, uh, sort of homework for this uh, week I'll be sharing those stock names we will be analyzing those stocks what is happening what is likely to happen and how to uh, find out better stocks out of those 35 stocks so that we can take advantage when it moves on a higher side. Fourth is I'll give you a brief introduction about my advanced upcoming advanced program. What is the date? Further details of fees and all, I'll be taking a detailed program uh, about it uh, subsequently. Sometime in Wednesday, coming Wednesday, I'll be sharing the entire details of what all is covered, how it is covered. Today is only one slide for the introduction. Uh, I have not muted everyone because we are uh, limited number of people. So if you uh, have to ask a question, ask later, you can uh, unmute yourself. Right now, everyone can mute themselves. Whenever need be, you can unmute and ask a question. Uh, so great. <clears throat> so are we ready? Can I have yes from all of you if you are ready to go ahead? Okay, great. Okay, so let's go ahead. Now, uh, from the great, great to see such an enthusiasm. So from the point of view of the biggest customer uh, of Indian industry, uh, be it uh, <coughs> like uh, you have defense, you have steel, you have cement, uh, you have pharmaceuticals, uh, typically not pharma, uh, like you have uh, agricultural related products and all the products 
who do you think is the biggest customer or who is the uh, biggest customer who drives the market the consum major major consumption in the market excellent nikhil said government of india right how many of you agree that government of india is the biggest customer defense they'll consume they'll consume uh, like fertilizers and all steel uh, cement they are the biggest consumers they uh, they will spend crores and crores of rupees government of india yes so second is government of india will decide the policies what is likely to happen in the coming future how much spend they are doing going to do in which sector what is the new project they are upcoming and all right so government of india spends crores of rupees huge amounts uh, in upcoming project and every project will have impact on industry on any one industry agreed right so now uh, we have now we don't have any government correct government in the sense which will make a policy decision which will uh, make sure that they will not declare okay i am going to do this, do this they will say okay i have planned to do this but please uh, realize that from uh, february march april and good part of may for four months there will be no concrete policy decisions whatever uh, tendering process ordering process had to be done it is over whatever new tendering process will start in june so we have four months of no policy declaration now it will be political positioning i will do this i will do that uh, i will uh, uh, if i come to power i'll do this like that positioning will go but actual uh, decision making may start in june how many of you agree that uh, about this point are you with me can i have yes if you are with me right now yeah okay great so now what is happening for next four months the next four months is the as per my assumptions i can be wrong i can be right i'm just putting uh, points in front of you as per my understanding limited understanding of market this is a free run for the operators this four months are the free run for the operators where they will say okay this might happen that might happen this is going to go up now just for a verification like that's what i'm feeling all around me how many of you are experiencing all around uh, you that you are finding a lot of whatsapp uh, groups where every anyone is touching any stocks except than me okay i am not able to earn that much but anyone in the group is touching any stock it is going upper circuit it is going 20 percent up 50 percent up are you experiencing this in and around you how many of you are experiencing that uh, volatility is one part well i'm not talking about volatility i'm talking about the people in your whatsapp group i bought this share it went up by 20 percent i bought that share no one is having everyone is happy right everyone is happy someone listens to news buys today it goes up now this is small cap mid cap it's like going up everything is going up now i'll just quote from warren buffett when everyone is showing greed you should show fear that's what warren buffett's quote is there now everyone seems to be happy everyone is able to buy from the news views and uh, earn as per my experience there is a possibility that this is a operators market where they are creating news views then they are taking things up common investor then buys and then sooner or later he might get trapped in those stocks for a long term because a long term ki janam ghutti to rehti hai in all analysis and everything you will find that they will give a like feeding ki this is this this is this it has gone up 50% in one year but very good for long term so my first submission to you all is be very very cautious about all the breakouts 
okay this can be traps by operator this cannot be traps from operator but not everyone in my experience can be so happy in stock market not everything can go up like this that also without having government policy as per me what all government policy was declared all got the their orders everyone got the orders they are executing the work it is already factored in and unless we have something new we have to take every stock going up with a pinch of stock salt so far so good everyone okay yes okay great <clears throat> now so what i want to discuss with you or i want to share with you a uh, few ideas which we can build upon as we go uh, further now what i have done is i have just hold on now i what i have done is uh, so first disclaimer Okay. Can you see the screen? Uh, can you see the screen? Uh, the chart, trading view charts. Yes. Okay. Great. Now, what I have done, uh, I have shortlisted around thirty-five stocks which have gone up uh, very rapidly in last uh, some few months. Uh, maybe one or two months, three months, it has gone up. It has just shot up and extraordinary performance of this stock. There are other stocks also, but this I found to be like going uh, with a good speed. Now, these are around 37 stocks. I'll share the list also with you all. Today, I'm going to share with you the list. Second is uh, DIY. What you ought to do uh, post this session uh, to get ready for taking advantage of this knowledge. Two parts in it. Can I suggest you the stocks, which stocks to buy? Answer is no. SEBI prohibits me from doing so. Question number two. Can I teach you how to analyze? Yes, that is absolutely yes. SEBI allows me to teach you how to analyze the stocks. Okay, so... First disclaimer, I'm not telling you to buy these stocks. I'm just sharing this list with you people. And I'll be sharing with you how you can go analyzing about it and how you can take advantage of it later whenever you find it suitable. <laughs> now, uh, let's go through the uh, stocks. So this is Trend Technologies. Uh, these are all the list you can see uh, on the sidelines why it is moving. This is IOC. You can see it has shot up. Now, here is one thing. Trend has gone up like this. Straight up, it has gone up. IOC, yes. Can you see the climb in past three, four days? This is the climb of the stock. And this is the volume. Correct? Let's see, OFSS, it has gone up, shot up, and then now it is on the second round. Hero Motor is okay, declined, Medanta, again Medanta, it is climbing up. NBCC, again it has gone up with the speed. Tata Motors, Short up price volumes per day. Yes, Mokesh is saying correctly. So uh, there is a spurt. These are all spurts of this thing. Now, how many of you do jogging, running, or uh, climbing, uh, like trekking and all? Can I have yes? Or any even if you do walking outside as exercise, can I have yes? Tell me. Can you 
climb a mountain in a speed like this and continue doing that? If you're walking and if you have to climb a mountain with this steep angle, is it possible for you to sustain this steep rise continuously? No. It is not possible, right? Physically, it is not possible. Same goes for the stock. If we find the stocks have shot up with this speed, first thing is rest assured, it will not go, keep on going. It has to rest. And if you are going with such a speed and anyone experience in walking or climbing stairs or climbing steep or jogging, they know that if you do in such a speed, if you go up, you might need to rest a while for a long time. So this is point number one, where you have to be very, very aware about the traps. This can be traps, right? So a FOMO is might get generated if you hear, okay, someone might say, see Trent, I bought here and it has gone up by 25% in five days. Suddenly FOMO... <laughs> Oh, it, he has uh, earned 25%. Should I also buy? Look at the chart. If it is shot up so speed, uh, in such a speed, wait, nothing will happen. It will go sideways for some time. Okay, because there is nothing much happening per se in the government, nothing. It will be uh, remaining sideways. So all these stocks, if we go one by one, uh, IRB, you'll find that these stocks have shot up. So first of all, don't have FOMO, fear of missing out that you have missed out. Don't try to jump into wagon as soon as you find someone speaking on the uh, news or views or something like that, that, okay, buy this, it will go up. I told you about trend. Now I'm telling about this. Don't jump the gun. Take some time. Because we are here not to get trapped and uh, our money should not get stuck. We should be able to earn money. So first thing first, I will share the list. Uh, don't put any uh, anything in the chat. I'll just put the list uh, in the chat and you all can copy paste uh, somewhere wherever you want to copy paste. Okay, so let's go. Uh, okay, so I have just put all 37 stocks list, whatever I'm having here, except this five star. Okay, this has not gone up. Uh, this is in the triangle. And those who have been watching my videos will know uh, the potential of trend uh, five star going up whenever it breaks the triangle. So we have, this is one opportunity in making. So you can copy the uh, list I have sent on the uh, chat. Then we can go ahead. What to do next? Okay. okay. Just hold on in there. Just let me complete a few things in continuation and then uh, you can ask a question. Okay. So I uh, have. <clears throat> Okay, so has everyone copied? Can I have yes uh, from all of you if you have copied the list, whatever I am sharing? Okay, great. So let's go ahead. Now what you people have to do? Okay, now we are here to learn uh, how to identify good stocks, right? So 
Okay, Hemant. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I have already Hemant ji. I have pasted uh, Hemjit. Uh, Hemjit ji. I have already pasted in the chat. Uh, I'll paste it again if you want. I'll paste it again. Just hold on. I have put it in the chat. Uh, Hemjit ji or whoever has joined just now, they can uh, copy the list. Oh, oh, sorry. Hold on. Okay. Now, <clears throat> what is our objective? Our objective is to invest now. So let's start from, and we need a starting point, uh, where to invest, how to invest, and how we should go forward. So let's say we are starting with this list, uh, whatever I have shared right now with you. Let's assume we are starting. Now, out of 37, how do we eliminate uh, the stocks we want? to see in our watch list and uh, ride the wave whenever uh, some opportunity comes, right? I cannot buy all 37 and keep Achha, chalo, theke, dekhenge, jo It's not a very good idea. So step number one, uh, what you are can do is this market mojo, marketsmojo.com. Uh, this is a very good site. Uh, I found it very good uh, too. Their presentation is very good. So you can open uh, this, you can see on the top, this market, marketsmojo.com. Good site. Uh, they are giving decent data. So you can open one uh, free account. No need to have pay, paid account. I am also not having any paid account here. Uh, you can as well have free account here. First thing you have to do is, out of the list, uh, you can go and type here. Now how to eliminate, I'm just giving few ideas to eliminate the stocks which may we may not have to have a look. Just ideas, okay. These are just ideas. I can be right, I can be wrong. First is go and search in this. First and foremost, I'll give <clears throat> one like if I search for E I H limited okay and i should go to this shareholding pattern okay you will find this in all websites money control everyone is giving this uh, shareholding now <clears throat> eih hotels why I may be uncomfortable with EIH hotels, even though EIH hotel has gone up. Uh, where is EIH hotel? Let me see. Ah, here it is. EIH hotels. See, it has gone up from 240 to 420, 100% in three months, right? It's a, like something. Someone who must have earned, he must have earned. But now, am I comfortable in looking at EIH hotels? So first, I'll, I should go and have a look at the shareholding pattern. This is the shareholding pattern. Here, if you see, promoters are holding 32%. FII, mutual fund, insurance companies, all together holding some 15%. Majority stake is with public. 50% stake is with the common investors like you and me. The decision making, the future decision making of any company, what to do, what products will launch, where we will launch, has to be done by the promoters. <clears throat> they should have a big chunk of shareholding followed by a big chunk by mutual fund and all. Wherever the public is having more stake, almost 49 stake, we should be cautious about that company because common public like you and me, we don't even attend the AGMs. We don't may contribute into the decision making also. So now out of all these 37 stocks, uh, you can go and analyze one by one what is the shareholding. That is point number one. Is it too much? 
uh, with the public to less with the promoters and mutual funds, stay away. Okay, even if it has gone up by 100%, like I said, there can be operators, there cannot be operators. I am not very sure. This is my assumption. Second is, if you have a look, FIIs sold 0.67%. Insurance companies sold 0.15%. So, 0.8% has been sold. But mutual funds and other DII have not picked up everything. Whatever was sold by FIIs, FIA sold 0.67 and insurance companies 0.8%. It has not been picked up by the big people, DII or mutual fund. It went to the public here, 0.28%. Again, if I want to hold a share, I don't want that public is buying the share, right? I want <coughs> the big players to be buying the shares. Everyone okay? Everyone good? Am I clear? Is it making sense? Yes, no. Infi beam, I suppose, right? Infi beam avenues. Infi beam only, no? Infi beam. Okay, let's see Infi beam. Now again, it has gone up. If we see InfiBeam shareholding pattern, here FII have sold minus 1%. They have FIFs have sold 1% stake in InfiBeam. It has not gone to promoters. It has not gone to mutual funds, insurance company, other DII. It has gone to common investor here, 1.3. That means a common investor who does not partake in any decision making, it has gone to him. Matlab, agar Hindi mein bole to, chipka hai, common investor. Right? They are kind of giving the share to them, but if someone only sees the price, it has shot up like anything. You might say they are buying it again. I don't know. But the original shareholding only one month back, 65% is with public. Uh, not a very whatever, right? So now what I want you to do is do two things. Simple step out of 31 stocks I have shared with you. Some may be shooting up just like that. Some are genuinely going up. So we want to first filter out the genuine ones from the fake ones. I'm not saying these are the fake. I'm just putting my ideas. Yeah, everyone is okay, right? I'm just putting my ideas. I'm not claiming to be right. I'm just sharing some of my experience. Okay, don't come back to me tomorrow. No, no, you said it. This is patthar ki lucky re nahi. Aisa kuch nahi. I'm just sharing my idea. <coughs> Okay, second is, uh, so you can go one by one, just see here, go to the shareholding pattern, okay? Uh, market Mojo, okay, Deepa, it is simple, Th this is a search icon here, okay, you press the search icon, let's say you hold a trend, okay, so press trend, you go to trend, okay? Now uh, you have a screen. This is the trend. You the, here is the shareholding pattern. You go to shareholding pattern. So first check you have to do who has done what in shareholding. It has given a summary. Okay, FIIs have sold 0.26%. Mutual funds funds have bought 0.7%. Insurance companies have sold 0.78%. DIs have got 0.67%. Ultimately, some total. 0.34% has gone to the common investor. If it is going to common investor, I will be little cautious. So FII sells, DII buys, I am fine with it. FII sells, promoter buys, I am good with it. 
but FII DIA sells and it goes to common investor, I am little uncomfortable. So you can shortlist the companies where either FIIs have increased the stake or FII has sold and DIA have bought. Okay. So this is one list where if you work on it out of 37, you'll be able to eliminate few companies. So this is the uh, our this is the homework for everyone. Everyone okay? Everyone okay doing this? Can I have yes? <clears throat> no, sir, yes, bolne se kaam nahi chalega. Next weekend, we will have a webinar on Friday and I want people to give their findings. Okay. So uh, just say yes and okay. Nahi, theke, next webinar, mein dekhenge. Uh, it will not work that way. So everyone saying yes, how to come up with some figures next week, which one they are eliminating like that. Second, uh, what you have to work upon is company CV. Go to the company CV. Okay. Uh, company CV, if you press, it will give brief. And that brief is good enough for us for the getting ready for next coming week. Now, uh, Trent is blah, 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 blah. And then it gives uh, here majority shareholder and then business segmentation. So what is it doing? It is doing retailing. Trent is doing retailing. Uh, here they have given Trent is a retail operations company. So brief, like we don't have to go in detail immediately. First brief is uh, retail operations company and all that is there. Uh, then we have uh, shareholding, then they have raw materials and then what is the shareholding. So from here, uh, finished good dashboard. So this is finished good dashboard. For most of the companies, Market Mojo has given finished good dashboard. You can go to this item, whichever is the higher percentage item. Here comes the second stage of the study. First, you have to 37 shortlist some, maybe 30, 28 stocks will come out of this uh, based on the shareholding. In that 28, go to this finished goods dashboard and seriously think that what is the future of this product in coming one year? Okay. How likely this product is to grow very fast? Because if the product demand is going to grow in coming one, future, one year or so, then only the share price is likely to grow consistently for next one year. It is as simple as that. Okay. So now you people have to see through that. Okay, what is go to this finished good dashboard and see, okay, what is the growth path? So you will again have some more stocks which might you might get shortlisted. Everyone okay, everyone clear where they have to go and then the art part comes. Okay, iska kya hai? what is the business uh, going forward? Uh, what it is uh, going to do in coming uh, days? Like... Uh, uh, anything like what is the demand what is the likely demand what is government likely to do so you have a lot of ideas right uh, where it is uh, yeah it's okay it's okay the data is given based on March 2019 uh, whatever latest data they are having they are giving uh, right now we are not going for uh, the uh, this thing you are right. I did not check it here, but uh, this should be the latest. But anyway, this will give us a good idea ki what they are going to do. What is their core business, right? The core business will not change in three to four years. Their core business will remain the same, almost same. Let's see some other uh, segment what they say. Thanks for bringing this. Uh, I did not notice this because I just went through this website. It was having simple presentation, so I thought of sharing. Uh, let's say, okay. Okay, now here we go further. 
okay here also they are giving uh, 2019 uh, but at least it will it will give us some data uh, of what it is likely to what it is doing because they will not typically change their business line altogether in 3 to 4 years so they will have their same uh, business line uh, so we have to pick up the uh, biggest business line and just think what is the possible uh, growth path for that business line. We are not looking at the numbers right now. We are only analyzing how it will go grow in coming uh, three to four years. Is that okay with everyone? Yes, I agree. This data seems to be old. I did not have a look at it. Uh, but everyone is okay. You can have a look at their major business from where they are earning their maximum revenue. It will be almost same. Uh, now also the maximum revenue will not change over three to four years. It will only increase. You can analyze whether that uh, business growth is possible in next one to two, three years or not. Right. This will be a broad idea. Yeah. And Rishab, you are right. Uh, 2019 is old data, but manufacturing and all, they will not change their uh, business model suddenly in every three years. Yeah, there is a big change in business, so that much judgment we can do. Now that we know it is of 2019, uh, we can go and investigate a little further. So what we are preparing for next uh, week is that we have shareholding. Shareholding is still December, that I have checked. Uh, that is still December. What was the shareholding, how it shifted, that is fine in this site. Uh, finished good dashboard, uh, we got to know now. But anyway, it will not uh, change much here in this. Uh, okay, let's see if there are, or you can go and have a look in their uh, financial seat. So uh, we can go ahead with that. What we want to do is just analyze their business and just see what their business plan is in, uh, sorry, how their product will increase. So this is the two things we'll shortlist. And uh, we can discuss this again on Friday. So next coming Friday, you have everyone has time. Uh, they can go analyze this company shortlist and bring up with some idea. Okay, this is the business plan. And this is what, uh, how it is going to grow in this coming year. And then we will go in the more fundamentals of the company, <laughs> how it has been doing uh, and all then uh, collectively, it can be shortlisted and we get ready to uh, invest if some people would like uh, to invest in one of those companies. Fine. Everyone is clear with the action plan? Yes. Okay. Clear. Great. So uh, th this is what we, and third is uh, how to avoid traps. If you hear a lot of news views, okay, this is good. A lot of recommendation. I say, take it with pinch of salt. If you want to buy, you buy, but keep a very tight stop loss. If anything goes wrong, it is better to exit. You have seen a lot of my videos to have a stop loss, to do risk management and you can do it uh that's it for today uh that's what i wanted to share today uh and fourth is uh when i am starting my uh advanced class so something to share about my advanced program uh, i'm starting it from 24 uh, 17 plus 7 24 yeah so i'll be starting my uh advanced program uh which is a paid program i'll be starting it from uh 24th of February and it will be a, a three months program, five weeks of online classes, two weeks of discussion, 100 hours of training, uh, specialized Ichimoku indicator uh, to do a long term trading because once you find the stock, you need to know when to enter, when to exit and Ichimoku I found to be a very powerful tool uh, for that. So I'll be sharing uh, fees and all structure, every detail on Wednesday, coming Wednesday. So right now, just telling, I'm starting on 24th uh, February. It's a complete three months program. And it is a very detailed program with a lot of hand-holding and discussion. Okay, so that brings to the 
conclusion of what all I wanted to share today. How many of you are learned something new today, something interesting? Those who have joined today, have you learned and learned something interesting today? Yes. Okay. Great. So uh, we can start with the questions. Any questions? Uh, any questions you would like to fire? By Tata Motors only. So Inder is saying uh, Tata Motors. Yeah, I have a question. Uh, yeah. Shall I type or can I speak? No, no, no. Please, please go ahead and uh, uh, please go ahead. Okay, out of this 37, if uh -huh. you want to identify or shortlist few mm -hmm. and based on the data which just now you showed. Mm -hmm. So can we simply uh, check that if FII or DII is in, into plus that it is buying something, then we can take into account. Uh, yes, yes, definitely. That is uh, uh, irrespective, of the, that... irrespective of the non-institution, whether it is plus or minus. If these two people are buying... Uh -huh. Then ah. we can shortlist them. See, if both are buying, they must be buying from the retail investor. Okay. Okay. So, uh, see, number of shares is uh, will remain same for entire year. Right. It has to shift the hands. If FIDI are buying, they might be buying from the common investor, which is a positive sign. Like they are hmm. into hmm. the game uh, and they are buying. So, it's a positive sign, definitely. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Welcome. I have a question about uh, BDL. Uh, uh -huh. It's almost 5x since you have given the idea. No, no, I don't to say that. It's recording. Pe oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sir. I mean, okay, sh should we stay put uh, on that stock still or go uh, yeah. some profit? Uh, no, I am uh, very positive about the entire defense uh sector uh even why bdl we have hl which has gone up i think i shared last year uh two stocks 10x in 10 years something like that so one was bdl one was hl and uh, both are doing good fortunately for us and uh, it's a like uh, the policy of indian government has changed so they are very aggressive in pushing Make in India and defense, they are very aggressive in pushing the supply of uh, defense equipments to other countries. So as long as the same government continues uh, in the next five terms, as long as uh, while continuing, they are pushing for the defense equipment, make in India and export. So these two sentences are very important. The same government continues or whichever government comes back, they have to keep pushing for uh, sale of defense equipment uh, and purchasing of defense equipment as long as this statement is true as long as bdl is making what is required by market uh, it's a fantastic stock to hold it will go up it will come down it will go up this will keep on happening as long as there is no structural issue uh, that will be good same is the story with hls same is uh, the story with other defense stocks you have to analyze and take a call uh, Rajesh, I don't know why MTR is going down, but it happens. Sometimes it will come down, sometimes it will go up. Uh, but if as long as the story is intact, the company is working towards the story, uh, it is okay. Uh, Sunny, uh, caution yeah. on Pen Pen. Uh, it's usually very stable stock, uh, but in past uh, almost like a three four weeks, uh, with a good result also, it is going down. Which okay. one? Asian Pens. Asian prints, ha, ha. okay. Yeah, so I don't know, means it's uh, it, they have a good result, everything is fine, usually very stable. Suddenly ha, ha. going down. Uh, just hold on, I'll share the screen and uh, okay, uh, don't start asking questions about all. I'm just taking one question. Nah? Nahi padala, hum sara analysis hi kar rahe usme. Paints. Asian Paints, okay. Asian Paints is a good company, stable company. Uh, it has, uh, yeah, it is doing uh, sideways. So what should we do, correct? Yes. So the first thing we have to know is uh, whether this is normal or abnormal. Yes. Correct. So what we should do is we should look at its competitor. Its competitor is Berger Paints. Correct? Yeah. Merger paint, if we see, 
इट इज ऑल्सो गोइंग साइड वेज करेक्ट करेक्ट तो ठीक है देन देन यू कैन हैव अ लुक एट अदर इंडस्ट्री वाइड जो है सी यू कैन हैव अ लुक एट ऑल अदर पेंट्स टिपिकली गिव मी सम नेम इफ यू हैव ऑफ योर इंडिगो पेंट्स में भी इंडिगो लिस्टेड है क्या आई एम नॉट कंसल पेंट्स हां कंसल नेरोले पेंट्स इंडिगो पेंट्स है लेट्स सी इंडिगो पेंट्स इट इज आल्सो गोइंग साइडवेज करेक्ट तो बेसिकली हमारा क्या है कंक्लूजन कि ये सेक्टर ही है जो ओवरऑल सेक्टर वाइज एवरीवन इज गोइंग साइडवेज नो वन इज गोइंग अप सो ये एक हमको एक थोड़ा सा अश्योरेंस देता है कि हाँ मतलब ऐसा नथिंग सिस्टमिक रॉन्ग इज हैपनिंग मे बी अ लार्ज चंक ऑफ बिजनेस हैज नॉट कम सो देन यू कैन टेक अ कॉल कि यार आने वाला है बिजनेस या नहीं आने वाला है देन यू टेक कॉल कि आ सकता है कैसे आ सकता है You can analyze and then take a call to hold it on or uh, part the ways. Okay, thank you. So this is one way of comparing. Ki kya aur hai? I'll give you a very typical uh, example. Uh, just uh, saying, like this is one of the uh, ideas which people can see. See, Infosys. Okay, Infosys has been almost sideways. Like the entire market is running, but Infosys almost from April twenty two till here flat. it has gone down and gone up but almost same if we see tcs the big companies they are flat almost like at the similar level uh, for past one or two years so behaving similarly now uh, are the it companies depending on indian government or more dependent on uh, us and europe any idea us and europe us and europe so our election will not play any major role in how they perform most likely correct uska business is in europe us and europe <laughs> so and if you see that okay this entire sector is not having any linking with not much linking with indian uh, system more with us and if they have consolidated come back here to immediate safer bets can be in it this is one point uh, point of analysis ki you can go through it stocks सी अच्छा ये सब कंसोलिडेट होके नाउ दे हैव कम टू ऑलमोस्ट दे हैव रिकवर्ड एंड इफ सम स्टॉक रिकवर्स और सेक्टर रिकवर्स टू इन वन और टू इयर्स इफ इट रिकवर्स टू इट्स प्रीवियस हाई देर इज अ गुड चांस ऑफ इट गोइंग अप सो ऑल दोज आर इंटरेस्टेड कैन हैव अ क्लोज वॉच ऑन इन्फोसिस टीसीएस हाउ दे आर गोइंग टू डू इट in coming future so this is one way of looking at sector ki has the sector recovered if yes usme kon kon recovery maar raha hai fatafat and uh, what is their chances so you can have a look at them okay uh, great so uh, any other questions we have i think i stopped someone from asking uh, long ago that i said okay i'll finish and ask have you asked your question just one more question uh, ah. sir actually uh, i've been following this uh, chip ai uh, uh, chip or the uh, server market in us uh -huh. uh, we have zoomed like around they have become multi bagger in last one year if you talk about nvidia smci or uh -huh. arm or so do we have uh, a similar kind of stock here in indian market which may also get benefit ai based i have no idea i have so, mera i don't understand it typically like i software doctor mujhe samajh nahi aata ai to bilkul samajh nahi aata so i am the last person you should talk about ai so, and so, and all the ai boom for example if i talk about smci and uh, this is Nani, there, i i uh, i got your uh, point know, i am understanding uh, what you are trying to say AI. i i am i am understanding what you are saying but what i am saying is how this ai will be converted into market opportunity 
how this will translate into money and who will be able to translate into money that my knowledge is limited. I cannot analyze that as a person. Samir Bapat cannot, I can analyze theek hai, BDL hai, wo missile banata hai, kisi ko to missile, missile kaisa hota hai, kya use hai uska, that I can understand very clearly. Correct. So I can take a call on that. It is comfortable for me and preferably like I say, invest what we are comfortable. So I, I'll not be able to answer your question because wo area mein apna knowledge thoda tang hai. Hai. Uh, just, just can you take one more IT company, uh, Vipro? Yeah. Yeah. So it is almost like making a curve. Now this is as per technical analysis, this curves here, this curves like this are like the first formation of cup and handle. If you see on a weekly basis, Okay, so normally all you will find that all IT companies are making this cup. Maybe they'll make a handle here and then go to the depth of what they have covered. As a cup and handle technical analysis, they say. Okay, Anisab, uh, can you take IRFC and PFC as an example for how the movement goes up? IRFC, uh, I know Indian Railways. <clears throat> See, it has gone <laughs> up. Okay. Now, uh, you need to analyze step by step. Okay. See, it has shot up. Now, this may be a distribution phase. We don't know. And PFC? What is B? P, P, Power, power Finance Corporation. Power Finance Corporation. Right now, it is in sideways, we can see. Again, we'll have to take it through the test, shareholding pattern, what is the business like that. Okay. Uh, Samir, I have uh, something to share on this IRFC. Uh -huh. uh, it's just an experience, uh, what I'm sharing. Uh -huh. So after whatever I have learned from you in the last time, no, uh, in this advanced program, I had entered uh -huh. this IRFC uh -huh. and uh, was quite profitable. Great. And there was one rule uh, yeah. which you had specified and I actually took an exit on that. Uh, despite all the speculations uh, saying people are thinking it will even go further and maybe cross 200. Uh -huh. And I could secure all my profit and now uh, I am out. Now I am not exposed to IRFC. Uh, uh -huh. Maybe some few, few is there. Uh, but that rule really has helped me. So Otherwise, you I would on have, 23rd have Jan, 24th Jan. Uh, that 24 then that uh, one big ready candle is there no yeah yeah, yeah. yeah very good uh, so thanks a lot that, for yeah correct 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 so that i mean i think i i, I just wanted to share because yeah. uh, uh, i want others also to uh, basically know the importance of these rules what you have taught us yeah, yeah. Uh, it was but that was not 15 percent no no that that is 15 yeah that was 15 that went uh, up to 19 percent 40, 40 points, no, almost 32, 34 yeah, yeah. points, yes. Yeah, yeah, that rule kicked in. So that day I exited. Uh, and then uh, now so this it rule is, is uh, part of advanced target. program. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yes. <clears throat> so that was really good uh, insight because otherwise uh, I would have got stuck. I mean, I would have yeah. still be sitting on the still profit. Sitting but, on the, and, yeah, but uh, that is so. Great, Hello. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Yeah. Ah. Are you yeah. So, um, so this microfinance industry is they're uh -huh. uh, appearing to be doing very well, uh -huh. and especially one Bangalore-based company, you no, know, the Credit Access Grameen. Correct. 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 Uh, seems to be doing fairly well. Uh -huh. uh, what are your views uh, now? Uh, it is looking like consolidating. Is it the right time to enter? Uh, can you share some views on that uh, performance, please? Credit Access. <clears throat> What is the uh, this thing uh, symbol for that credit? Credit tax. 
credit access this one right this is what you are saying yes, yes. Yeah, it's in consolidation as of now. So if any new buy should happen above the consolidation, uh, we should not buy when it is consolidating. I always prefer to buy when it breaks the consolidation on higher side. The company is good. Their policy of uh, finding the people to give uh, loans is good. Uh, plus the UPI revolution in India has helped them assessing uh, a better uh, customers to give the loan. So they can, whatever transaction happens nowadays happens through UPI. So it is easy for them to assess the credit worthiness of any person to whom they are giving loan. So that has eased their uh, like uh, risk. They, that has reduced its risk. So that is the uh, advantage of UPI, they can always say, okay, show me your bank statement and how frequently the UPI transaction, because you cannot hide UPI transaction, right? Or you can simply show, because this is my business, I sell tea and uh, this is how I am getting every day. This is the transaction. So no one can fake it or someone can easily show it and uh, take a good credit. So that way, uh, microfinance uh, has become easier to assess uh, good customers. Right. That way, but anyway, it is in sideways movement. If you want to take position, uh, new positions, you can take it from here. Uh, exiting right now, I am not sure because I like the business. Microfinance is required, and the way they are going, they are analyzing their customers. They uh, give credit to the customers basis the old customer referral only. So that is one of their. Uh, USPs that uh, they will, uh, so there is accountability, right? So the, the new customer has to have a, a referral from a good old customer. So, uh, which is a good thing, I believe. So maybe some ups and downs here and there recently, but uh, otherwise this company is, uh, should be doing good in coming future. Okay, sure. Thank you so much. Okay. So great. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, any last question which people might think in the I have to ask this question. So I'll take two last questions if I have missed out. Prashant, you have raised your hand for question. So or no, the question is solved. Yes, yes. Oh, okay, so great. what about the STFC? Yeah, STFC is one good company and uh, that stocks. HDFC. HDFC will grow Aram say. HDFC is like elephant in the jungle. It will grow, go Aram say. HDFC will grow uh, Aram say. So we have to give a lot of time. How about uh, uh, Hero Motor Cops? Uh, I have to invest because I am not very much into vehicle. I have not analyzed in detail, but vehicle industry will grow uh, typically. So uh, that also is in our list. Huh? Uh, incidentally, Hero Motor Co is in our list. I saw it here. So this we'll discuss uh, next week, right? Let's uh, have Samir. Uh, uh, what, what, Samir, IOC, uh, what do you think? Because the entire oil market is going up. Uh -huh. Indian oil is, uh, anyway, it is a good company only. So we this is a part of our discussion next week, no? Abito ye, it has gone up. So we have time. It will not shoot up for sure. So we can wait till next Friday. Let's see what is the input from others uh, like that. Okay. Sir, uh, as PSUs are going up, uh, can you also share view on RCF, last three chemical that's it. Mm, last don't question. Get, let, get me into the, all the analysis. <laughs> if you have anything to ask related to today's session, you can ask. Yeah, uh, Mr. Uh, Paliani Appan. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Mr. Sandeep. Uh, Samir, this one uh, regarding the course, you told something. Can you please share on that? If you are new to this, uh, if, uh, course, I am starting an advanced program, uh, like it's a closed group uh, where I am starting advanced program on 24th of February. So, I uh, typically the classes are on weekend, uh, around 100 hours of coaching and all the buying, selling techniques, analysis, the technique of fundamental, technical, everything it is there. So uh, it will start uh, on 24th. I'll be sharing all the details on coming Wednesday. So today, uh, just sharing. Uh, 
uh, that okay, I'm starting my advanced program. That's it. I'll share complete details on Wednesday. Wednesday webinar nine. Okay. So, so it is a advanced. Basic also there. See, you basics, mean? I have uh, uploaded all the videos on YouTube. Like, I'll be uploading uh, the video today on YouTube. I have uploaded almost uh, 40, 50 basics uh, videos on YouTube. We'll continue to do webinars on basics also. That Those are free. Uh, I do a weekly basis, one or two uh, on basics, which are absolutely free. You can ping me on WhatsApp. I'll send you the playlist uh, link, uh, what I have uploaded on YouTube. You can go through it. It's free for everyone. Okay, fine. Thank Basics you. are free. Uh, money is only for the advance. <laughs> fine. Okay. Fine. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank uh, thanks you. Thank a lot you. for joining today and spending your precious Saturday morning with me. Thanks a lot. See you in next webinar. I'll post the detail on the group. See you. And we will do the analysis next week. So thank, thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Bye bye.